This is not your standard breakfast show with Lee Higgins. My special guest, Queen Deer, has just sat down next to me. Good morning. Good morning, Queen Lee. You're working on a new project at the moment, aren't you? Tell us about that. That's right. You know, at the moment, um, I'm working for the organization, you know, charity um, foundation called Hand Across the Water. Okay. It's about you know, helping the children in Thailand, you know, so we look after the orphan and uh, the children with disability, the children with that needs uh, medical attention. We we look after five homes across Thailand. And Kundir, tell us a little bit more about how this organization was started. Right, it started 20 years ago in Kaolak, you know, by a former forensic police, Peter Bain from Australia. He was sent over to identify the body mm. during the tsunami, the Boxing Day, and he saw a lot of um, children were, you know, separated from the parents, you know, the parents um, lost their life in the tsunami, you know, and they live in a tent. So after three months in Thailand, you know, I've seen a lot of things that he never seen it before mm. in his life. So he went back to Australia and start to um, start the organization called Hand Across the Water. Mm. And he's been coming back to Thailand to help those children ever since. And what are some of the uh, activities that he has done or or is he continuing to do to help the community? Right. For the past 20 years, you know, I think most of the fundraising were done from Australia. You know, we have the bite right, you know, we have a, a charity dinner, gala dinner, you know, but most of the run um, in in Australia also, you know, moved to Thailand. Like, you know, he has done the bite right in Isan, you know, so yes. he know Isan, like his own backhands, you know. Yeah. There were people from Australia coming and help, you know, so that's how we raise fun. But this year will be different, you know because we plan to move our headquarters from Australia to Thailand from next year onwards. That's a big step, isn't it? That's right. And yeah. so has Peter taken the message worldwide? Yes, he, he is, you know, because uh, people, ap apart from raising fun, you know, Peter Baines also um, keynote speaker, mm. he go around the world to speak about the CSR, he go around the world to speak about, you know, about uh, uh, inspiration, uh, Inspirational, yes. you know, I mean, conduct the inspirational uh, mm. uh, event, you know. And recently he was in Bangkok, and I was there to listen to what he uh, uh, told the story about how the organization started, you know, that was inspirational, and of course it's motivated, you know, for you to do better. <laughs> well, and he sounds like he's a very fit man, other than being very motivational. He sounds like he's very, very fit. Definitely, you know, he, he can easily cycling for for like 120 kilometers, you know, <laughs> so that's quite impressive. Kundir from Hands Across the Water. And tell us a little bit more about this foundation. It was started in Australia, is that correct? That's right. You know, it started in Australia, but we, we local organization. We register in Thailand as a non-profit organization, and then we also register for tax deductible. So every donation is tax deductible in Thailand, Australia, and New Zealand. And Peter Baines, such an inspirational man. So tell us what he's doing in December. Right. He will run to raise funds for one million Australian dollars. The run will start from Ban Home Hak in Yasothorn on the 1st of December and ended in Ban Nam Kem in Kaolak on 26th of December. And how far is that? It's 1,400 kilometers <laughs> only. <laughs> only. Only? So for somebody like Peter, probably only. Only, yeah. only. So how many hours a day is he going to be running? Yeah, he'll be running six hours a day. And on the 15th of December, he ran through Bangkok, right? So we have a big event in Bangkok called the Community Run, you know, which is also part of the Run to Remember. Mm -hmm. So on the 15th, you know, we will run uh, in Jatujak Park. Okay. And we have, you know, Dr. Chacha Sitipan, the Bangkok governor, joining us. Dr. Angela, the Australian ambassador, joining us and also, you know, a couple of uh, influencers, celebrity that, you know, will, will run to raise funds with okay. us. Yeah. And where do the funds go? The fund goes to four projects that we initiate, right? One is the, the Hospitality Learning Center at Ban Than Nam Jai in Kaolak, and also the Visitor Center in Ban Nam, Bat Than Nam Jai in Kaolak as well. And uh, Agricultural Center, and the last one will be a uh, digital learning center in Yasothorn at Ban Hom Hak, which is you know uh, one of uh, the the home that we we look after. Mm. 
So it's not only about Kaolack and, and that experience down there, but you're, you're helping communities that's right, throughout you know, Thailand. That's right. We also have uh, um, Ban Pamaha House you know, in Jantaburi as well. Okay. Yeah. And how can people participate or donate? Is there a way that you know our listeners can participate or donate? Um, you can check on the website, you know, www.handacrossthewater.com mm -hmm. and to register with the run, you can go to the thaifit.com and register. We have the virtual run and also on ground run. Perfect. And I also know uh, Richard from Surf Radio has done an interview with Peter. That's right. And it's up on our YouTube channel right yes. now. But no doubt, Kundir, we'll be back in touch again um, because I think what Peter is doing and what this organisation is doing is something yeah. pretty special. Yeah. And I cannot believe it's 20 years since the tsunami as well. It's yes. just, you know, it's just touching but heartwarming what this community on, and what Hands Across the Water is doing. Right, that's right. Yeah, you know, with 20 years gone by just like that. Yeah, it has just gone yeah. like that. So thank you very much, Kundir, for coming in and chatting with me today. It was been a pleasure and no doubt we'll talk again soon. Thank you, Kundir, for having me this morning. No and problem. Yes, that's such a honor to be here. Oh, thank, thank you. you.